Hi, my name is Mark Jackson and I'm a cartoonist and welcome to this year's Summer Reading Challenge. Today I'm going to show you the very basics of how to create a comic strip and how comic strips work. Comic strips can be funny, comic strips can be crazy and I'm going to show you how you can take simple ideas and start them off with a situation, things then can happen and then you end on a joke. That joke can be a joke that you read or that joke can be a joke that you can see or it can be a joke that you read and see at the same time. Comic strips are amazing and they're a great way of communicating ideas. And you don't have to be a professional to make comic strips. You just have to have pens like this. I got two pens, an orange and a blue, and a piece of paper. A piece of paper like this. I'm going with the standard A4 and I'm gonna go landscape, okay? This is portrait, this is landscape. I, today, have my fancy flip chart because I'm a little bit of a show off. You might wonder why there's a fish there. There just is, don't ask questions, okay? And so I'm gonna now show you the very basics of how we start to make a comic strip. A comic strip is basically four panels in a row, like this. So get your piece of paper, okay? Landscape, remember, and you're gonna do nice and big, a line straight across, and then you're gonna do a line down, and then you're gonna do another line straight across, then you're gonna do another line down, then you're going to find the centre. You're not going to measure it out. Measuring is boring. No, just go, look, there's the centre, straight down. Then you're going to find the centre of this one, which is kind of there. And then you're going to find the centre of this one. That's easy, it's right there. Look at that. You've got a comic strip. Four panels. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to show you how a comic panel works, and I'm going to show you over each one of these four, okay? So the fourth one will actually be the completed first panel of a comic strip. Does that make sense? It doesn't? Well, allow me to show you. Right, I'm switching pens. This is the time to, for pen switching if you've got a pen to switch. Right, so I'm going to do in here, imagine this panel is in threes. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of little lines in here, and then one, two, three. You can draw those on as well, okay? Just those little guides they are. They're just guides. Not cubs, guides. Jokes, you see? It's all about jokes. You've got to be thinking. You've always got to be joking, right? Because then funny ideas can pop into your head. So, this is the first part, the second and the third. And we're just going to be concerned on this panel with the first piece here. And in there... I want to, we want, uh, we're going to draw one character and I want in this panel for us to introduce our character. So I want you to either copy what I'm doing or you can come up with your own character. And we're going to go with the standard, hi, my name is somebody, okay? If your name is somebody, then that's easy. But hi, my name is, okay? And just do one word. We don't need the surname, just do one word. But remember to only keep it up in this Top third here, okay? So I'm gonna go with, hi, my name is Hot Dog. Hot Dog, okay? With an exclamation mark. When you introduce yourself, always do it with an exclamation mark. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a cartoonist, exclamation mark, all right? Hi, my name is Hot Dog, okay? Now, once you've done that, we're gonna write this Again, in this panel, exactly the same. Hi, my name is Hot Dog, okay? This time, we're going to draw Hot Dog, all right? Or you might have done a different name. So you feel free to do a different drawing. Person, robot, animal thing, monster, creature, whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna do hot dog, and he looks basically like this. He's got two eyes, and he's got a nose. He's a funny animal, and funny animals basically stand like humans do, okay? They don't walk around on all fours, they stand like humans do, okay? And I'm gonna do his little body here like that. He's got his legs coming in here, okay? And the reason why I use felt pens is because it's just more fun. Pencils and rubbers are going to slow you down. They're going to make you try and think you're going to get everything perfect. And I don't want you to worry about getting things perfect. I just want you to have fun making your comic strips. And fun drawing in general. He's got his smile, like that. And he's got a little top of his little t-shirt. He's wearing a t-shirt, as most dogs do, obviously. 
Well, most funny dogs do anyway. And these get his arms tucked behind his back, just like that, okay? Right. A little detail there for the detail fans. I know you're out there. Right, there he is. He stood there, so his little tail here as well. There you go. Perfect. Now, moving to panel three. Can you guess what's going to happen? Yes. You're going to write, Hi, my name is Hot Dog, or Hi, my name is somebody. Again, the thing is with comics, it's all about repetition. You'll have to write and draw a lot of the same things over and over again in lots of different panels from different angles, different heights, different shapes, uh, different positions. That's what comics is all about. Hi, my name is Hot Dog. Okay. And in this panel, and then we're going to draw him again. Okay, now you've got him here, so you can kind of see, you can kind of match it, but don't worry if it's not exact, it's okay. Just get the rough ideas, as long as you've got the two eyes, you've got the nose, you've got the ear, all right? You've got the top of his head, his little eyebrow thing here. You've got a line coming down like that, where his body is. Then you've got that bit, you've got that bit, you've got the curve shape, say it with me, curve shape of the bottom of his body. His little legs sticking out like that, his little feet, little dog feet, okay? Finish the t-shirt off there. He's still smiling, obviously. Why wouldn't you be? It's a nice sunny day. Here's where he is as well. Look at that. Okay, there he is. Okay, he stood there again. So, what makes this panel different from this one? Well, we're now going to show you how you now can connect the words and the drawing. And you do that very, very simply with a thing called the speech bubble. Speech bubbles are there to show what character is talking and when. So basically, all we have to do is, and, and the reason why the, the words are at the top is because when they're inside the bubbles, what the bubbles do, they float. And so in comics, bubbles are at the top of each panel. But you have, that's why you have to leave the space for it. And all you have to do very simply is draw the bubble. You don't have to draw the whole bubble, right? You just have to just finish it off. So I've got it here, and he took it behind his head like that. And we do this little pointy thing, this little tail thing that points towards the character. It doesn't have to point right to his mouth or her mouth. It just has to point towards them. So you know, or the reader of your comic knows which character is talking. In this comic strip, there's only one character. So we know that it's just Hot Dog talking. But you might do a comic where two characters are in there and you need to know which one is talking. It's always important that if you have two characters, the first character that talks is on this side and the second character that talks is on this side. Otherwise, you're going to have balloons crossing over, all zigzagging over. It's going to be so complicated, no one's going to know what on earth is going on. All right? So, we've now taken the words. We've then jumped the words to there, added a drawing. We've then added, drawn the drawing again. We've done the words again. We've done the balloon behind it. Okay? These are the basic elements. And now we can do the exact same thing again. Hi, my name is hot dog and you might think how do you get it exact every time well it's just roughly exact it's just rough don't worry but you can basically see where look and at a casual glance they're all in the same position and that's cool let's draw hot dog again he's got his eyes he's still happy because it's the exact same drawing of hot dog okay pretty much all right it's a pretty much an exact same drawing that's how you get out, that's your get out of jail free card. It's a pretty much exact same drawing. <laughs> All right. Da, 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 da. There's his little legs, the bottom of his t-shirt, he's still smiling. Obviously, oh, I forgot that. Ding, 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 like that. Then he's got his arms, they're still tucked behind because it's the same drawing. All right. And now, in this panel, our final panel, or actually our first panel, you'll get what I mean. All right. We can now add some fun things. He's not just stood in a panel. Oh, hang on, I've not done the balloon. Get the balloon in, come on, Mark. Right, he's not just stood there floating around a panel. We can do these little things here. Let's get a few little lines there, a little bit of shadow. Let's get a line behind him like that, which could be start to be a wall. Let's get the edge of a wall here like that. Then you can get another line in here. And suddenly, just by adding one, two, three lines, he looks like he's in a room. You can add a bit of a skirting board like that. No one knows what a skirting board actually is. It's just something that parents have. They have things called skirting boards. Dad, what's that? It's a skirting board. What is it? I don't know, right? That's the thing. Nobody knows what they are. Nobody knows what they're for, right? And there, just by any these little simple lines, we suddenly have hot dog inside a house of some sort. It could be his house, it could be his owner's house. And that is how you basically start with the words where your character introduces themselves, 
add a drawing of a character. Add a balloon to show how why this character is the character that's actually talking. And then finish it off by showing the little bit of background detail. You could even have a little window here in the background. You could show a little bit of a window. And you could do anything you want. You could maybe have a little table with some flowers on it or something like that. And that is basically the basics of how to create a single comic panel. So this is the first panel of a comic strip at the end. Does that sound complicated? It shouldn't be, because we've, I've shown you the stages, and next time I will show you how to take this first panel and really have some fun. Okay? Look forward to seeing you later. Thank you.